welcome to the 150th uh, program of FD Zone. It's uh, with great pleasure that we welcome you here. Uh, it's been a fantastic journey for us, uh, and we are immensely grateful to Films Division for opening up this space to independent filmmakers and to audiences to come together to watch uh, independent films, both documentary and short fiction and animation. Um, uh, this program would not have been possible without the support of every person in Films Division who comes here every Saturday, leave, uh, foregoing their uh, holiday and coming here to uh, open up FD Zone for us. Uh, this week we are showing a film called Citizen 4 by Laura Poitras, which, uh, which won the Oscar uh, last year. And it's a, it's a well-known film, that's why I can see a lot of new faces here, people who have never come to FD Zone before. Uh, the film has already been publicized greatly. It's about the coming out or making public of uh, Snowden's uh, 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 reports on the surveillance in the US. It's an issue that is relevant to us today as well in India. So I hope you enjoy the film. I'm sorry to say there won't be a discussion later because there's, uh, the, we, we are not going to be uh, having a discussion for the film. Thank you very much. Hey, can you hear me? I am here, David. How are you? Well, I would just point, start by pointing to what Barack Obama himself said about those questions when he was running for the office that he now occupies in December of 2007. He said, quote, the president does not have the power under the Constitution to unilaterally authorize a military attack in a situation that does not involve stopping an actual or imminent threat to the nation. So by Obama's own words, the president does not have the power that he's now exercising under the Constitution. And as far as why it matters, in, on August 1st, 2007, when he laid out his reasons why he was running for office and why he thought it was so important to change the way we were doing things, he said, quote, no more ignoring the law when it's inconvenient. That is not who we are. We will again set an example for the world that the law is not subject to the whims of stubborn rulers. So to allow presidents to simply start wars on their own, asked why I picked you. I didn't. You did. The surveillance you've experienced means you've been selected. A term which will mean more to you as you learn about how the modern SIGIN system works. For now, know that every border you cross, every purchase you make, every call you dial, every cell phone tower you pass, friend you keep, article you write, site you visit, subject line you type, and packet you route, is in the hands of a system whose reach is unlimited, but whose safeguards are not. Your victimization by the NSA system means that you are well aware of the threat that unrestricted, secret police pose for democracies. This is a story few but you can tell. 